In the last episode of Ranked, we unfortunately lost Supersonic Legend, which was really hard to get in the early season because not many players are SSL yet. Most pros are still sitting in the 1800 region, but the range of skill varies a lot in this rank right now. In these games, I experienced a mix of levels of gameplay, and I discussed the differences while doing my best to explain my thoughts in the games. We also ended off with a banger high-level match, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Also, drop some ideas for new videos in the future. I'm trying to use more of your comments and execute some ideas from you guys, because the last few have been really good. But first, I wanted to talk again about Enlisted, today's sponsor. It's a new kind of FPS that uniquely combines PvP with PvE combat. Command your squad of customizable AI soldiers and fight in huge battles with hundreds of targets led by other players. There are multiple campaigns to play through, all with their own unique feel thanks to having different weapons, vehicles, and equipment. From the outskirts of Moscow in 1941 to the heart of Berlin in 1945, each campaign feels more like its own individual game, and due to realistic movement and a target-rich environment, it's great for both casual players and more hardcore gamers too. I love the short time to kill and huge variety of weapons and vehicles, and it's free. You can play now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, or even previous generation consoles. Click my link now to get your free bonus pack and get started. It comes with multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. It'll be the first link in the description, so check it out now and play Enlisted for free. Huge thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring this video, and now let's get into the games. All right, we're getting our SSL back. Let's make it happen. We're uh, only 26 points, off, or actually 36 points off. Go around up here, take this boost. It's totally fine if Chief does that touch. I'm gonna do try and bump him here. And flick it around the one. So that was a really good solid uh, control there. Just made sure I knew that. I knew that Chief Beef wanted the ball in the situation. And I knew the only way he could get there is if he drives towards it. He can't really jump and flip into it. So just gotta get the bump on him until he's got the ball here. It's gonna be a free ball for Dirt though. I don't really wanna go for this. I'm gonna be alone for a while. I'm just gonna pop it up. I'm trying to grab this corner breeze while Chili goes for the shot. It's on. Ooh, okay. I had to really force it in there. There we go. Just gonna wait here and see what happens. Good touch from Chili. Like it touched here by the uh, by Chief in the corner. And we get the uh, the dunk. Um, the only option he had there was to pinch it across uh, far right side, and Dirtho was just waiting for him, so I knew he wasn't really a factor in that situation. So I just go for the early challenge. I don't know who got the boost there. Um, I like to say I got it if if it's like a unclear situation, like when someone's chasing the ball. Oh, well, that's not good. I got bumped. Okay, we're good. Um, when it's not clear who got the boost, I like to say, like, I got it. Especially, like, on a demo play or, like, a boost grab play. This should be a free shot. Yeah, it's just in. Um, I like to say I got it. But I wish there was a more clear calm for that. Like, at least quick chat-wise. It's always... I really also think that by this today's day and age, I, I really think that the UI should just have your teammates boost. I don't know. That'd be really cool. I can't get back to that. I, I knew the second that that went off the corner, I wasn't able to recover fast enough for that shot to come back at me. The early challenge was decent, but I was too far away from my teammate to really make anything happen there. So unfortunately, um, when you have a teammate that challenges early, uh, it's going to be tough unless I can't get, okay, I can't get it. I can get on top of it. Um, it's going to be tough to make a uh, challenge immediately afterwards because they're probably going to expect you to early challenge and then the fact the fact that you're like spaced out too far is going to mean that you just get outplayed just like your teammate did. I'm going to fake this as well. Over one. I'm going to try and go for the bump here. <laughs> I am so sorry. That was just that was just completely rude. All right, not a bad first game. Uh, we got nine points, 1858. We're still a little bit off. Also, it totally was 26 points. I'm so dumb. It wasn't 36 because I forgot it's not. It's not 1985. It's 1975. That is uh, SSL. But we're probably not gonna. I don't think we're gonna make it in this video, especially if we lose one game. But not a bad start. All right, game number two. We got Dribs on our team against Angel and Chili. So we we lost Chili as our teammate, but we've got Angel, uh, Dribs and uh, ugh. Dribs and Angel as new players in this lobby. So. Let's see how it goes. Gonna wait for him. Get decent 50. Nice touch from Dribs. I'm gonna fake this ball. He's gonna go early off the backboard. Maybe forward touch. I don't think I can uh, really get this on target, but I'm gonna just pop it up forward. Grab a few boost pads. 
Nice 50. Nice touch again, but it does go right to Chili. Oh boy. I have to get a 50. It's a little dangerous. I can't get back to that. Yeah, that was a really poor touch for my teammate. Uh, or I can't remember what it was. It was yeah, this touch right here. I had the 50 and he just cut it in front of me. Or I could have cleared it forward. But it happens. Definitely did not need to panic there. There was no flip reset. He didn't have the touch. Okay, I'm going to be in a 1v2 again here. I'm going to fake this and then go for the late touch. Okay, that's, that's decent. Oh, no. Okay, he hit it too hard, though. I got to be really careful with my teammate. When I when I see teammates that are like panicking or go, going early a lot, I got to make sure I'm really staying consistent. And just being, uh, you know, a, a solid defensive position because like right here these touches are just very panicky and we're getting double double touched on because our teammate is popping the ball into the wall but early season's gonna do that they're doing a really good job of controlling the ball i gotta take this boost unfortunately i'll just fake him here over one see if i can go for this again nice play really well played that's really good control for my teammate i don't really want to challenge this in a, in a spot where it's going to 50 in the mid. Good challenge from Dribs. I hope that he can go for this again. It does spill out for him nicely. Really good dribble control. But once again, this ball is going to spill in the mid. I'm going to go up for this early. I don't think I can follow this without wasting a ton of boost. And I don't really want to do that. I'm going to back off behind Dribs here. Hopefully he just goes. Oh, boy. <laughs> like I said, early season vibes. That is all good. I can only take so much of uh, of this gameplay, though. I, I really do want to get higher up so I can start playing the pros a lot more. Because the gameplay down here doesn't always make a lot of sense to me. And it's in my net. Yeah, I had no boost there. Also, I probably could have paid a little more attention to the boom. But he had a perfect shot right out of the out of the net there. That's, that's my bad. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really see this game going super well. Angel's a Angel's really solid player, and... Chili's going off right now. That's a good flick. Uh, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're bringing it back. The flick off target actually threw off Chili quite a bit. It threw off me too because it bounced off that post. Also, I don't think that it really should have bounced down to the right like that. Like the way it did. But he's going to chip that around. That's totally fine. I don't mind Chili being stuck here with low boost. That 50 is really good though. I got space. I'm going to try and boom this over. Chili got the back corner boost. Alright. Good. Good patience for my teammate. Try to get a bump on Angel. Oh, Drip's got a play, but should be okay. We're good. I demo him, so now there's lots of space for my teammate. If you can get a flick over this guy, it'd be really... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hit that one real quick. <laughs> I mean, I have no words for that one. Let's move on. Let's move on. Like I said, we're probably not going to make SSL in this episode because we just lost our nine points that we just gained. So that's really good. But we got Vesh. No, we don't have Chili. We got Blippi on our team, though. I really would have liked to have Chili. He's really solid right now. We'll see how Blippi does. Early season vibes. Okay, that's actually a decent back pass. I'm going to fake Chili here because he's going to touch the ball to nothing. Pop it over Vesh. Make him panic a little bit. I'm actually not going for the ball at all. I want the boost. Maybe a shot. Oh, unlucky. Okay, not a great look so far, but it's decent. Wait for his touch here. Touch off the corner. Back to myself. Boom it over. Vesh is panicking. Let's see what he does with this touch. Is he scared? Eh, he controls it pretty well. Okay, nice touch. Maybe one more. No, oh, no way. Okay, I don't know if I can get back to this. Ooh, okay, we're good. We're good. Challenge for me. Challenge for me. Nice. Challenge again. Oh. I shouldn't have panicked there. I really didn't trust that he actually had it, though. It looked like he was going over his head. But I probably could have just stayed grounded. So I'll take some responsibility for that one. Nice 50. I can't get mid for him quite yet. But I'm going to grab this boost. That's a good challenge from uh, Chili. Oh, boy. That's going to be bad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's good. Mid. Get up there. Nice try. Can't quite get that. That ball here. It's a high pop. I avoid the bump. Mid for him. Nice first touch. 
Oh, that's a good touch from Chili. This might be in our net. Good save, Lippy. Get to make another one here. Clutch up. Okay. Bash missed the ball. Get 50. He needs to get back though. Wait, where's my teammate? <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> where, where did he go? No, man. You can't do that. Can't go for that back corner boost. You guys just got to grab like the, the 40 to 60 boost. Man, ranked early season is just something else. It's such a different vibe. Like I just, I can't describe it. Yeah, that's never going to be a goal, but that's okay though. We'll, it's fine. Stay with this. Round one. Uh, might be in our net. Okay, we're good. Yeah, that challenge is never going to be a goal either. I'm surprised he went for that. I'm going to try and boom his forward. I don't really have much boost, and we're not really making anything happen here. That's a good bump. Oh, my. That was so laggy. The, the, my camera shifted to the right after making the flick. We've been under pressure that in this entire game. We have seven saves. But yeah, I'm telling you, early, like I said, early season is just like a different beast. And it's just internet again. Oh, these 50s. Let's see what he does here. 50. Teammates in net. I don't think he hits it. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. There was no hope for that game anyway, so we'll just move on. Oh no, no way. We got the rematch. Yeah, the game went. Oh, this is this was fair. 4-1 win. Should be good. We'll just run that back. Um, I was really hoping to get Chili once again, because like I said, he he was actually pretty easy to read. Or it's just it's just in my net. <laughs> it's just in my net. I like I could have went backward. It's good. Flippy should be there. Nice. Good fifty. All right, so once again, we're at a uh, bit of a backflip because of the start of the last game, or the first goal here. Oh, I missed. 50. That's okay, I'm going to go back right, right here. We can make it. We can get this win. Let's get it. Finish off with a dub. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see what happened here again. Oh, yeah, I just... Flipped across. I was trying to follow that touch out, but it ended up being uh, like a weak touch. I can't get it. No, it's such an overcommit. I should be in, hopefully. I think it is, yeah. Really good cut there. We saw the uh, the ball would spill out into a spot where they were really aggressive. So I just went for an early challenge. Really good uh, cut from my teammate, too, to get the touch. Right, we do get the beat. I think Blippi's probably going to lose the, the fight to the, the boost, but. Around him here. Super awkward. Around him. Let's make him flick it. Can't get the boost from him, though. I'm going to back off. Trying to be challenged to the side. The cross again. They're just They're just playing very fast, but they're not doing anything with the ball. Oh. Totally fine. I'm gonna pop this out to my teammate who backed off, but I think it was like a little awkward because it was over his head a little bit. I'm gonna pop this up. I really can't do much with the ball with that low boost. I need to grab the mid first. Hopefully, we can go for this. It's good. Hmm. Okay. Staying close here. I don't want to go that way. There's two two players. Okay, this has been quite annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but let's see what happens here. Good save. Just non-stop challenging. If he wants to touch this at some point. Oh. Ugh. Okay. I, there were definitely free moments to challenge that. I turned away because I thought he was going to challenge it and pop it over to the right, but he just didn't go. And that's just my bad for for predicting what was going to happen because players usually would just go for that. It's a good save. Flippy's getting dusted. Mid? Oh, that's such a 
weird play. It's probably still going to work, too. Yeah, this is... This is ridiculous, dude. Oh, I just don't... I don't know. He's not passing it. I, I, I don't know if I should be positioning differently or just, like, uh, going for different things. I, I don't know. I don't know. This has been my experience for the last, like, three days. Four days. Just, it doesn't feel like Rocket League. That's what I was saying earlier. I've been playing, I've been playing on my stream a few a few days and it just feels like not Rocket League. I don't know. It's not, it's not the same game that I'm used to. That's the same every season. Every season it's just like people are really far away. No one's really following each other up. It's all just 1v1 plays and air dribbles. And uh, we're down more points than we started with. So that's, that's really good. Solid. Minus 18 there. Well, it's minus 9 twice, I think, because the last game didn't register. Oh my god, we got a new teammate. We got Vesh. Let's go. The game didn't want to give me the rematch for the third time. It felt merciful, even though for the last like few days, it's given me the same matchup like four times in a row where I've just lost it like five to one. And let's go. We have a solid teammate. Let's go. Good play from Vesh. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. R Rocket League is in a weird spot right now with ranked. I feel like um, every season... Oh, I was open. Close though. Good try. Uh, every season's kind of gotten worse as it goes on with uh, quality of... I, th I feel like maybe a, a hard reset would be would be good. It's definitely needed. Oh, mid? Might just be in. Yep. Uh, it, it appears that this is going a lot better. I'm going to try and cheat up here. I also find it really hard to commentate when the games just don't make any sense. Round one might just be open. It is. I, I find it really hard to commentate when the games are just like stutter, like not stuttery in like the quality. I just mean like stuttery in the fact that like I'm just doing circles waiting for a ball that doesn't actually explode my brain. We get a challenge here. It's totally fine if he wants to make a touch here. I'm just going to pop this to the right side. Best can make a touch back mid. Dust him here. And uh, Fico, I think his name is. Oh, good thing I didn't touch that. I, th I thought I heard him. I was a little bit scared. Uh, Fico couldn't really get a good touch. He's going off the ceiling. I like that. Wait for this touch. Around Chili. This is what I'm talking about. Like Chili just got like so confused by that challenge that he ended up being like he's like not. It, it looks like he's autopiloting upwards, but like he's ready for. He's trying to trust his teammate to make a good challenge. But his teammate keeps not making challenges. And it looks like Chili did not win the, the teammate lottery today. I'm not trying to be rude to Fico. It's definitely just... Some people are definitely outpaced in certain lobbies. Yeah, he's, he's already giving up, I think. Um, and he is 120 ping, mind you. But yeah, he's not happy with that. That's just how it goes sometimes. Oh. Oh my god. And they forfeit. <sighs> this guy... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this game right now. I just want to be back in like 2K, 2K lobbies, man. How are, how are the games going for you guys this season? Is it Has it been any different? Has it been uh, more of the same? Let me know if you guys are experiencing anything similar with like the, the, the squish of ranks every season. Uh, all, the, all the top ranks get squished into like 1670 or something. Uh, and then it takes a long time for that to kind of break away out of the norm uh, because we've got players who are sitting around 1600 usually that stayed there um, but we're facing off against them or being teammates with them and it's not like their problem it's not their fault that's just the way the game the game runs you know so um, but I'm just curious how it feels down down in lower ranks because um, at the t at the high level it is a uh, is a wild ride for a few weeks. All right, we got Taroko against Wavy and Scribbles. This is the highest level game I think I've played in in a while. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. This will probably be the finish of the video here. <laughs> We've played quite a few. We got Taroko uh, pre-jumping. So I'm just going to wait for his, wait for the, the, the right time to challenge. Try to bump Scribbles as well. It's a good challenge from Wavy. We'll be stuck here for a little bit. Taroko has a lot of free space now though. <laughs> oh, he actually recovered it. I was going to say, what the heck was that? Hoping that he bumps him or something. 
Maybe just shot down the field. It looks like Wavy can't really get a good touch. I'm just going to fake that because it looks like Trokel might have a, a better ball. Probably go for a flip reset here. Nice save. That's a really bad touch. I don't know why I'm trying to put that middle. Oh, no. I'm playing horribly. It's off. Yeah. Good save. Oh, that's... I, I, that's my bad. I literally just did circles for no reason. Also, my challenge before was poor, but I really thought that was going to be on target. Maybe top right. What a save. That was a decent touch. I can't. I don't think I can follow this. Yeah, I can't really follow it. Oh, there's zero boost there. Maybe if I got a pad somewhere, but if I don't have a pad there, it's going to be really, really hard to score that with power. That's a good play as well. I don't know if he's going to try and touch this. I'm trying to leave the boost for him. I'm not really sure where to be right now. I'm going to back off. Good challenge. All right, that's fine. And I'm demoed. Never mind, it's not fine. Nice challenge from Troco. I'm being landed on. Or I'll, I'll, whatever whatever the other thing is. <laughs> Doesn't touch the ball. There we go. Move down the field here. We go high on this ball in case... Like a demo, but it could pop across for a shot. Nice. Let's go. Really fast pass there. Just pop it forward, get the mid boost. And then I try to chip this downwards off this bounce. It, it flies across. Scribbles can't read it. Really good placement tr from Troco, too, to put that behind uh, Scribbles on his challenge. I'm going to try and go with, uh, maybe, let's see. I'm just going to go normal, actually. Surround him. Maybe a goal. All right, so Scribbles is going to sit here with the ball. Oh. What a save. Ooh, get me out. Good challenge from Troco once again, too. Wavy's going to be there first, though. Nice bump. I might recover this with a wave dash. I'm trying to leave this boost for him. Okay, he doesn't take it, so Wavy gets it instead. And it's in their net. I mean, I can't really describe that play. <laughs> I'm not sure why any of that happened. Troco had the wind of that boost, and I left it for him. I tried to make that very clear. He just... Backed off, and then Wavy went behind me and tried to bump me, and then the ball went towards their net somehow. We'll move on. I really, I, I say this a lot, but I really think that the voice comms being implemented earlier in the game would have been so good for this game. I think people would play so differently. <laughs> uh, a lot of the times, I feel like there's so many times where like, Things could have could have been kind of uh, could have been communicated. Oh my god! Like right there, I could have said, "I'm leaving you the boost. Come take the boost." So Wavy doesn't get the boost for free. We get the flip reset. Beautiful. All right, not the greatest and cleanest uh, flip reset, but you do get it done. I'm gonna go maybe back left here. Looks like Scribble's gonna leave this for Wavy. Put this around him. I do get demoed though. It's across. Pop it forward. Should be uh Troco here. He does take the boost. What? This boost will be here, hopefully. No. Okay, it did it did show up. Hit it too hard. Decent. Good challenge. Just around him would be good here. Oh, my bad. This is so messy. I'm going to bump this guy. Around him. <laughs> I'm going to take this boost. I am... Oh. Nice. Over him, hopefully. It should be okay for Troco. He could probably get a... Oh, that's not good. Oh, please get back. Let's go. Huge. Try to pop that off the ceiling so it doesn't it doesn't hit the ceiling, but or just under the ceiling, I mean. Oh, no, we need to panic. Get one demo. He may chip around here. I'm gonna try and demo the other one. So much space, 36 seconds, all the time in the world. Oh, I thought he was gonna demo me. Maybe he's gonna challenge us immediately. Around both of them, maybe. 
Flick top corner. Maybe a shot. Bang. I didn't get the flip reset. Oh, gosh. 10 seconds left. Not like this. Good challenge. What a roller coaster today has been. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's enough rank for me, though. Hopefully, we can just end this. We do get a challenge. Nice touch from Taroko. Put it on the ground, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm out of here. 1950. Did we start at 1949? <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> I don't remember. We might be up a little bit. I can't remember how many games we lost. Honestly, it's it's all a blur to me. Oh my god, the Porsche 911. What what a roller coaster of emotions, like I said. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll definitely try to get back my SSL back at some point. <laughs> if I can if I can muster up the energy to play whatever uh, whatever today. Like, these games have been crazy. This is a definitely a higher quality game, though. I really enjoyed that one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to use my link below to sign up and play Enlisted now for free. You can play on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and even previous generation consoles. You'll get a free bonus pack for signing up with multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. So be sure to check it out. Thanks once again to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. And until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.